Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my 1000 subscriber Q&A the answer portion. Um, you guys sent me You guys commented your questions like three weeks ago So sorry it's taken me so long. I haven't filmed in a long time and I haven't edited or uploaded in a while It feels so long, but I'm trying to get back on a roll here, but let's get into all the questions <laughs> And thank you to everyone who asked them. It means a lot. Favorite book to TV show adaptation? And for me, this would have to be the two Gillian Flynn books, Gone Girl and Dark Places. I read both books and then watched the movies and they're fabulous. They're adult thrillers. I'd highly recommend them. Dark Places is not as well known as Gone Girl. Um, they're written by the same author. They're both films. Uh, Dark Places was like made into a film last year and it's on Netflix, at least I remember it was on Netflix and you should definitely watch them and read the books. They're really good. <laughs> and the next question is, do you imagine yourself as a writer someday? And if so, what kind of genre would you write? And basically, I, I'm not one of those people that reads because I'm trying, to, like I am, it's not my goal to be an author. It, um, you know, as a kid, I wanted to be many different things, but an author was never one. It, not that I'm like bashing authors because I love books, duh. But I don't know, if I were to write something, which I have tried, it would probably be like a mental illness contemporary or a thriller. So yeah, question like three times and that is what's your favorite book series? And I have to go with the Mortal Instruments and I know it's a basic answer, but I love that so much. If we're talking about trilogies, the Bill Hodges trilogy by Stephen King, both are wonderful, highly recommend them. What's the first Stephen King book you ever read? And for me, that is Carrie. I started off with his first work. Um, I was like 10, I think. And I just bought the Little Mass Market of Carrie and I read it. I really liked it, that's why I picked up more of his works, but yes, Carrie was where I started. What are three books you think everyone should read? And for this, I'm going to go with Brain on Fire by Susanna K. Halen. It's a nonfiction book, it's really, really good. It's about a girl going through like psychosis. And next is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Genetes. So good. And third is, we're gonna switch it up and go with, um, what are we gonna go with? Salt to the Sea by Rita Sapetis, because that was beautiful, so those three <laughs> off my phone because it's long but it's from Jill which a um it's if you had to pick an author to write a book with you as with if you had to pick an author to write a book with you as the main character who would you pick and what genre would it be this is hard <laughs> I would love to be in not a thriller because usually they die like well you know what I mean Maybe in like Jennifer Lynn Barnes if she wrote me one of like the next Naturals book and I was like the new natural in the FBI team, that'd be pretty sick. So yeah. What book scared you the most? And see, I've never been scared from a book. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't cry. I don't get scared while I read. A book that kind of creeped me out at one point was like The Accident Season by Moria Fowley. Moria Fowley Doyle, I can never pronounce her name, but that book kind of creeped me out a little bit. Um, just a little, not too much. <laughs> and definitely, um, Mr. Mercedes wasn't creepy, but it had like disturbing scenes that it was like uncomfortable at times. But yeah, I guess that. <laughs> what book made you cry the most? I've never cried from a book before, um, but I've been close. And I've read Into the Darkest Corners by Elizabeth Haynes. I deal with abuse, so I almost cried while reading that one. And also like most of Colleen Hoover's books, I'm, I've almost cried reading those as well. Next is, do you have any pets? And I really like this question because I love animals and um, they're not my pets, but since I live in the middle of nowhere, technically, um, not actually, but you know what I mean. I'm not in the city. And um, we have a forest around us-ish, and we have um, feral cats, basically. And they're like our cats. They're our, outdoor ca they're our outdoor cats. We feed them, we play with them sometimes, and we feed them, we play with them, that kind of jazz. They don't come in, but they could, but they don't. <laughs> and yeah, they're adorable. Um, right now I think we have six of them, but yeah, if you've ever lived on like a farm or anything, you kind of know that y you have wild animals and some of those are cats and they're my favorites. And I'd love to like raise them and bring them inside and take them to the vet and like have it as a normal house pet, but like they're so used to out like being outside. I don't know if they would like survive like a transition like that, especially because most of them were like born out. They were all born out there, so yeah. What is your best slash happiest experience on booktube so far? That would have to be a really cliche answer and that is making friends. Um, for most of my, like, I only made, started making like booktube friends this last 
maybe since like January I started like actually getting friends on the internet um, from people who make videos and stuff but before I never really had any I was just kind of like on my own which I was cool with and I still would be cool with that but like it's nice to have some support and some people who kind of get you but the whole editing upload books thing yeah so you currently reading I'm currently reading shadow kiss by Rochelle Mead I'm finally continuing guys I'm about 100 pages in and I'm enjoying it so far Next, have you read any H.G. Wells? Which, no, I have not. I do want to read The Time Machine, though. So, yeah, hopefully I'll do that. If you had to live in any country, what would it be and why? And it would have to be Australia. I've always wanted to go to Australia. I always did projects on Australia. I always wanted to go there. I want to go there. One book you'll never get sick of rereading. That's The Virgin Suicides. I'm sure you didn't see that coming. <laughs> is why did you enjoy Made You Up and... What is it about? And basically, if you don't know, Made You Up is by Francesca Zappia. It was a 2015 release, and basically it's a mental illness contemporary about a girl who has schizophrenia, and when she was younger, her only friend, this one boy, turned out to be a, halluc a hallucination, and she called him Blue Eyes, and then she walks into high school, sits down, looks over, and she sees that kid that she was hanging out with when she was younger that she thought was a hallucination sitting there, and there's like a bit of romance involved, but there's also just her coping with everything and it's it's gorgeous um i loved it so much it, the writing's perfect the I, I love the ending it's so quick i flew through it and within a day i remember last summer i think i read it and i like flew through it i loved it so yeah definitely re read that if you guys haven't <laughs> got you into reading and this i can make a whole video about which maybe i will if you guys want to see it but if we're talking like when I was younger-ish, I used to read like the Spiderwick Chronicles by like Holly Black. Um, and then as I got a bit older, I read Carrie because I was like, ooh, I want to read some Stephen King. That sounds pretty sick. I'll do that. And I loved it. So I did that. And then I started reading, uh, well, I read this YE series called The Visions Trilogy by Lisa McMahon, which I loved um, growing up. That was like kind of what got me into the YA genre. And then I picked up like... I don't know. I think I just picked up more Stephen King after that. <laughs> but yeah, and then I just started watching booktube, blah blah blah. Now I'm here. <laughs> For genre, and that is mental illness contemporaries and thrillers and urban fantasy. Change from a beauty channel to a book channel. And if you don't know, before I was a beauty channel, I was posting on here doing makeup, all that sort of jazz. I remember I used to get up at five o'clock to film myself doing my makeup because that's what time I got up for school. And yeah, um, so I switched because um not because I had any problems with the beauty community necessarily, it's just, it wasn't, at first it was really fun, it was like a lot, it was just, it was good, like it was a really good experience for me, and then I discovered booktube and I saw, well actually when I had my beauty channel, I did like follow a booktuber, but that was like the only one I watched, and then I started like finding more videos by other booktubers, and I started finding shelf tours, and that was like my obsession, I just watched bookshelf tours like constantly, and oh my gosh I was just like I want to read more like this is inspiring me and I saw so many more book recommendations and stuff and I still was reading when I was on my beauty channel if you watch my old videos I still was reading but like just like a book a month maybe or a book every two months just just like whenever I felt like it and yeah so then I got into this and then I thought you know what? I'm gonna make one book video on my channel I'll still stick to beauty but I'll make one book video and then I liked it way better so here I am <laughs> and I don't think I'll go back to making beauty videos um some videos where I get to do makeup or talk about it I will like it but I kind of like to make it book related still <laughs> how do you feel about knowing their viewers who live from other countries I think it's so cool I think it's awesome that people from all around the globe can just sit there and watch me talk <laughs> which is strange I guess but it's kind of cool I mean I think it's really interesting and I love especially watching people that are from different cultures and ethnicities and things like that and yeah I like that question thanks and the next is when do you think you're gonna read The Stand by Stephen King and I know a lot of you guys want me to read this one I really want to read it too I think I'm gonna wait till like maybe February because I think that's when I'm gonna be doing English and then I can like do it for a project and I'm super excited so yeah this is your favorite subject in school and that has to be English and art those are my typically my strongest subjects and the ones that I enjoy the most I do also like history class though so yeah. favorite book in a series and it would have to be the second book and then for all the vices the clockwork prince Clockwork Angel was good, but like Clockwork Prince was like, like out of there. So, yeah. 
I think that is everything. If I didn't answer your question, leave it down below and I will answer it. I'm sorry if I missed your question. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And thank you so much for watching and for supporting me. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video.